everyone, Lucamus Prime here, so um, it's time for another little video today where, um, so, as most of you will probably know, um, today unfortunately marks the two year anniversary of Stanley passing away. Um, so, um, so yeah, I thought I'd do a bit of a vlog talking about, you know, how much I loved Stanley and, um, and all the amazing things that he's done, so, yeah, Stanley is an absolute legend, he really is, um, you know, Marvel Comics is primary creative leader, and, um, you know, with Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko, he created so many of these well-known popular characters, you know, so many role models and inspirations to everyone, like Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thor, The Hulk, Black Widow, Black Panther, Daredevil, Doctor Strange, Scarlet Witch, Ant-Man, The X-Men, and... So yeah, so many like beloved characters and a Fantastic Four as well. Like so many beloved characters that he's made. Um and you know, his his ideas and creations have affected billions of generations all you know, all these years. We really have and um so and you know, despite how he he of course retired in the nineteen nineties from Marvel, um, at least he uh, was a public figure because, you know, he um you know, a figurehead by cameoing in many different projects by Marvel. Um, and there's so many that have been my favourites, really, by him. Like, it's hard to say which one is my normal favourite Stanley cameo, but I guess probably uh, my favourite is probably his cameo appearance in Avengers Endgame, where um, he's where he's dear to look like I did back in uh, the 1970s, or 1970, I think it was. And he says to the soldiers, you know, Hey, man, make love, not war! Like, uh, that was a pretty cool cameo, um, pretty nice, um, but so many other honourable mentions as well, such as, um, his cameo where he's with, uh, The Watchers in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, where he's talking about his cameos, basically he's breaking the fourth wall, um, and also, even though I don't consider Spider-Man 3 one of my favourite Marvel films, you know, or my, my favourite Spider-Man films, because, you know, it's my second least favourite after Amazing Spider-Man 2, um, I think his camera was one of the very few best parts of the movie, you know, where he stood stand alongside Tom McGuire Spider-Man, and he says, you know, I guess one person can make a difference. Enough said. <laughs> like, I really love that camera so much. Um, really great. And he's even cameoed in things which aren't even made by Marvel guys as well. For example, I believe in 995 he cameoed in a movie called Mole Rats. Um, and I think he also found a camera appearance in a movie called um, Kick-Ass, uh, but unfortunately got cut, which is a bit of a shame, isn't it? And, of course, um, this is quite infamous camera. He actually came in a DC movie in Teen Titans Go To Movies, you know. Um, I don't really like the movie at all, to be honest, guys, but I think his camera was one of the few good things about it, where um, he think he ends up in a DC movie and he's not happy about it. <laughs> and it was pretty cool to see him in that, to be honest. Uh, in what I did not... Even though, as you probably know, I really just like Teen Titans Go. I really hate that show. I prefer the original show. Um, so, well, yeah, enough of Teen Titans Go. So, um, and, so, Stan, the man, is such an amazing man. He truly is. Stanley Martin Lieber, or Stanley, whatever you want to call him, you know. Um, I'll never forget the amazing work he's done for Marvel. Because uh, without him, and also Jack Kirby and Steve Ditko's, you know, collaborations and creative work, we would not have all these amazing characters at all. We wouldn't have them. Like, Stan is, was such a great guy. And, you know, I really will miss him because, um, I mean, on the day it happened, guys, uh, two years ago, um, I was actually sat at my desk. Not this one, but I'm sat now because um, this was at my desk at university before I left a week later. I was I was sat down doing some work when I got a news flash on my phone. You know, um, my phone went off and... Um, it was a news report, and it said that um, that Marvel oh, um, core creator Stanley has passed away at the age of 95. And yeah, upon seeing that, I was like, "Oh God, no, no, no! This can't be true. This can't be true." But unfortunately, guys, yes, it was true because he'd unfortunately passed away, and I was speechless. I was, and I began to cry as well, guys. Um, like I couldn't believe it. Like um, poor Stan. Uh, but you know what, 95 years old is a long life, isn't it, guys? You know, um, at least a very long life, and um, and he saw how popular Marvel become, and I think he'd have been proud of Endgame. I think he would have been really proud of it, you know, because of what happened. Um, and also with, you know, Far From Home as well, with the character he first ever, his first ever solo character he created, Spider-Man in Far From Home, I think he'd have been proud of it. Um, but yeah, and... 
I never met Stanley in person, guys, at all. Like, I never met him. Like, I never been to a convention or anything like that where I met him. Sadly, I'd I'd love to meet him, but but unfortunately, I can't anymore, which is a bit shame, isn't it? Um. Oh well, and you know, um, and he's also known for his humour. I know, forgive his humour. Like his cameras were so funny to watch, um, and it was really fun spotting him and having a good laugh at them, for example. Um, and one definitely has to be his cameo in the Big Bang Theory. Like that was a pretty funny cameo. He was really funny in that cameo. He really was. Um, so, um, so I really will miss all that humour and also getting to see him on screen again. Like, um, I hope in future more movies they'll include, like, maybe a reference to him or maybe, like, um, something. Maybe, like, a photo of him or something, like, a mention of him. That'd be great. I'd love that. Um, so, um, so, guys, uh, this is me doing, like, a, a, a vlog talking to you guys at how much I admire and love Stan Lee and, you know, how much I miss him on the two anniversary of him passing away. Um, so, yeah, I will miss Stan. I always will do. Um, I'll never forget everything that he's done for Marvel. Like, he's such a legend. Um, so, you know, the drill, guys, um, be sure to give this video a like. Um, also, be sure to let us know in the comments uh, what you guys um, think of, you know, Stan Lee and everything that he's done for Marvel and, you know, like what your thoughts on what he's done and stuff like that, really. Tell me what you think of him. Um, also, be sure to join T. Obama, press and subscribe for more videos coming in the future. And I will see you all later.